Hey everybody, I wanted to taste two Cabernets with you this evening and they are both, and this is important, they are both part of the Collectors Club and the Harvest Crew. So both groups will get these wines. The first one is the 2018 Elodian Knights Valley Cab. Why is it Knights Valley? Well, because that's the single vineyard we pulled from for in 2018. We just pour a little here. You know, I kind of like that. I like that sound of the the glug, you know, when it just goes boom, 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 like that. Anyway, the Lodian label, sea turtle, remember. This is a really special area in Knights Valley. I may have talked about it before, but it's um, the climate is unique. It's got these real big gravels. I mean, so big, some people would call them small boulders. And it's a prime area for Cabernet. And it's not that far from us. So when you're, when you're at the winery, you look out to the west, uh, you look right into the valley. We're at an elevation maybe 200, 300 feet taller or higher than uh, Nice Valley. But what's interesting about Nice Valley is that the Pacific breezes come through Nice Valley on their way to Napa and pass right through our little spot here. It's kind of like a little gap, literally, where, where the ranch is. So it uh, creates really great, you know, rich Cabernets. This 18 is dark. It's almost purpley red, you know. It's not that it's that young because it's uh, two and a half years old, but still it's, it's quite yummy. Um, mm, like it. It's just, it's got so much intense black cherry and um, Maybe the parcel one had a lot of black olive. This is more uh, in your face kind of a black cherry. It's really rich, it's really dark. There's a little chocolate element in the back. But of course, the aroma can't hold a candle to the flavors. Same kind of thing. Let me, well, I'll tell you. Mmm. I don't know if Piper, the cat, winery cat, wants to come up and take a sniff. She's going to try my boots first and then see if she likes black cherry. We'll find out. Just luscious. There's this mouth coating tannin, which is not overly astringent like some cabs can be, but the way it coats the mouth, it just lingers. It's very, it makes things feel very savory and taste very savory. I just think it's a, uh, a, a really wonderful contribution from 2018. Price is right too. So I hope you guys really enjoy the 18 Elodian Nice Valley Cab. Now, I think what we might do, I think I have another glass here. We might just go to the second wine. Let's see. Oh, just happened to have one here. So, the second wine is the Greek Mountain. Um, it's a single vineyard. Whoa, that bottle's heavy. Oh. 2013. We always hold a lot of our reserve wines back a little bit. The 13 Greek Mountain single vineyard. It's only a one or two acre a parcel. We discovered Grieg Mountain uh, maybe five, six years ago. It's eyeball to eyeball with Pritchard Hill. If those of you know about the Spanos Cab and about Pritchard Hill, kind of wedged between, Pritchard Hill is wedged between Atlas Peak and Grieg Mountain. So Grieg Mountain to the north, way up high. Normally in the growing season, you can be on top and look down and see for a couple hours in the morning, you can see the, the fog come in from San Francisco, kind of blankets everything down on the valley floor by St. Helena. But up on top, we've got blue sky. And that's why 
the Grieg Mountain is always the first Cabernet to ripen. What that means for us is it is a little bit richer than most and I think of all the single vineyards that we do, the Grieg Mountain has this um, silkiness that the other cabs typically can't get. Let's try it. There's the famous glug, glug, glug. Yes, okay. Mm hmm. Also, tremendous color. Ah, oh, what you first notice, let me float away in a dreamland first. Okay, there. You notice this wonderful waft of, of green olive, cassis, and that amazing spicy vanilla French oak character because this wine, unlike the Elodian, is aged three years in new French oak barrels. Three years, 100%. Some winemakers are scared of that because they think that perhaps it's too much. But we find that on the third year, the oak flavors from the barrel really integrate with the wine. And if you've got a big, powerful mountain cab like this one, it's okay. They integrate well and they kind of play on each other, if you will. So. You get the elegance, the silkiness from the vineyard. You get the bouquet that's coming from the French oak. I just love it. I could just do this all day long. I never get any work done. I just stick my nose in and, ah. Mm. So mouth filling. Rich again, it coats, but it just lingers and lingers and lingers. This is a wine that you must have with an extremely rich meal and or a very special occasion. I love it. Cheers. Hey everyone, exciting times ahead. I've got in front of me a couple of wine club wines. The first one I want to open is the 2018 Purrington Creek Unfiltered Reserve Chardonnay. So bear with me while we inject the corkscrew. Nice cold bottle. Even though we're outside today and it's a little warm, but that's good. Looking forward to a nice glass of Chardonnay. Aha, beautiful cork. Hmm. Ah, love that sound. I love that sound. So this wine is really special. It's um, the third wine for the harvest crew. And um, I have another wine will be for collectors, but this is the third wine for the harvest crew. Here it is. Ooh. Love that sound. So, if you look first at the clarity, it's not absolutely crystal clear. And the reason? It's unfiltered. Makes this a very special wine. Mmm, wow. Pineapple, a little bit of butterscotch, a little bit of vanilla. Boy, I can really get into this on a warm day. Ha! So what makes the Reserve Purrington Chardonnay a little bit different? One thing, besides being from Russian River, a very well-known area for Chardonnay and Pinot, besides that, it's unfiltered. Why do we, why, what does that mean? What does unfiltered mean? It means that instead of pressing it all the way through a tight filtration at bottling, we carefully pump the wine from barrel to barrel to allow the sediment to stay in the previous barrel and we do it it's called a really a clean rack and that leaves some very fine uh, sediment in the wine but that's what gives the wine sometimes this 
real nice thickness, this richness. Smooth, really. It makes it actually smoother. Yeah, now I'm ready to taste. Haha. <laughs> mmm. It's so rich. It has almost this thick, tasty, yummy, but also there's just enough acid in there to kind of balance it off. That's one of the keys with the Purrington Chardonnay is the balance. So what do we have? We have a wine that is an 18. It's had extra time in the bottle to age. And it went one year in French oak, not 100% new, that would be a little bit too much, but about 25 to 30% new French oak. And then during that time, during that time in the cave, uh, during that one year period, every Friday afternoon, Jason would get out his magic wand, really stainless steel stirring device, and stir the lees in the bottom of the barrel. That helps the yeast come up and add the richness that we get to the wine. So we've got that, we've got that stirring, and then we've got the the lack of final filtration before bottling to make this Chardonnay really special. I'm gonna have another glass. Mm. This is the 16 uh, Parcel One Cab. It's a Sonoma County. So again, this would be the third wine uh, for the collectors. Club. So we discovered this really special Cabernet vineyard years ago and we've been tracking it ever since and we've made several vintages of wine from this particular vineyard in Knights Valley and we don't call it Knights Valley we call it Sonoma County but it's a 16 and we didn't have much 16. Let me pour a little here. Uh, it's a special barrel lot and we kind of kept it aside. So normally the parcel one reds might only have 20 months or 24 months in French oak. Um, by the way, we only use French oak for all our wines and not just the Tom Eddy brand. But this had a little bit extra time. So it's even approaching more than three years in the barrel. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the unique aromatics of the Parcel 16. Unlike many Cabernets from the Knights Valley area and Sonoma County, this one has, oh, well wait, let me be, let me surprise myself. Okay, I'm not surprised. There it is. I knew it. It's got this really dark black olive, dark black cherry quality. It's really intense. It really makes this particular cab unique and special and winemakers talk about um, varietal character but they also talk about point of place and this quality we have found is unique to Knights Valley. It's special. I like it. Mm. It's so rich uh, for a parcel one, it's amazingly rich. It almost has like a royal feel to it, you know. It's this thick in the back. It's almost sweet. It's not sweet, but it just has this elegance and this richness, lushness. Maybe this is the kind of wine that you would have for a with a chocolate dessert. I don't know. But uh, I think the fact that it had that extra time in French oak, uh, normally, like I think I mentioned, 22 months, 24 months, but in this case, over three years in new French oak and used French oak, um, just a just a fun wine, just a rich wine. Mm. You can drink it right now. Mm-hmm.